Good morning. Um, I wanted to just say a couple of words about rumors. Um, with this COVID-19 situation, obviously, there are a lot of rumors circulating about it. Who's more susceptible and who's not? What can you drink or eat that might prevent it? There's, there's all kinds of rumors circulating uh, about that right now, uh, many of which are just not true. Um, the other piece of that is in business, there's tons of rumors within companies themselves. And those are the rumors I wanted to talk about. First of all, a rumor is an unsubstantiated piece of information that's floating out in the, in the, in the world. And, um, it, and it's usually something that's important to, to the people in a particular organization. Um, they could be all kinds of rumors. And typically in times like this, they're uh, based on anxiety and people wanting to figure out what's going on. Uh, it could be, hey, we're, I'm hearing that we're going to have layoffs, or I'm hearing that we're going to have cutbacks, or we're going to shut down, and all these things that would seriously affect people. Um, there's a guy named Nick DeFonso who's written uh, about this um, in Psychology Today, and he's written, also written a book on it. He talks about some of the reasons that, that we, we have rumors. The biggest reason that I have seen over the years for rumors has been, and he substantiated when is when people are trying to figure out what's going on and they don't get information on a regular basis from a credible source, they start making it up. They start to speculate to find meaning. So they start saying, well, I heard the other day that maybe we'll be late have layoffs. And then the next person takes it further. It's called serial transmission. And they say, hey, we're going to have a layoffs. And by the time it gets to the fourth person, the layoffs are going to start in 20 minutes. It's that kind of that kind of wildfire. So people spread rumors when there's uncertainty and a lack of information. Um, they spread the rumors when they're anxious. In fact, the more anxious you are and the more extroverted you are, the more you tend to propagate these things. Um, the uh, rumors spread uh, usually around information that's important to the person themselves. Um, there are other reasons that rumors spread, but the, but the reality is, is that they are out there, especially in a tense time. So what can you do? One of the presidents I just uh, of a company I just talked to has set up a truth department, the Department of Truth, which I thought was kind of a cool idea. He set up his HR department, which is high, in his organization is highly credible. That's important. And he said, anytime you have any questions about it, and you're sitting at home worried, call this department, and then they'll tell you whether it's true or not true. And I thought that was a great solution, having a credible department in your organization that can dispense the truth. The other piece of it is that have the CEO or somebody with high credibility do regular briefings of people. Remember, many people are working from home now. They're all by themselves. They're listening to the news often too, often too much. Letting them hear from a credible inside source who they believe is a great way of doing this. There are other techniques that are out there. Um, you may want to look them up uh, on the web, but look for, if you do that, Always look for credible sources, Psychology Today or, or um, um, Nick DeFonso's work and others. Um, rumors spread because people are anxious and they want to figure out what's going on. Help them figure it out. This is Steve Gladys. Hope everybody stays safe. We'll be talking to you soon. Be well. Thank you.